there's a little bit of buzz going around uh, YouTube about this global settlement and China's meeting with uh, the United States and there's going to be these trillions of dollars and increasing the value of the donors on um, it's just another new world order and actually zeitgeist is involved in this one <laughs> it's like they need to trick you <laughs> into going into uh, believing in another scam I suspect uh, zeitgeist has probably invested an awful lot in donors um, I pers I have a, a personal friend that was told of this years ago, and um, he was told if he invested in these donors, actually have the dollar bills, because they stopped printing those dollar bills, and as soon as you stop printing something, it you know you know it's going to eventually one day rise, and um, one of the biggest things that really warning signs to me is that they were going to use your natural resources is going to be backing each country's um, dollar value and oil <laughs> is in there like a dirty shirt again so this is just another way to suppress green technology we do have free energy you can drive your car without gas, without any financial expense. And just think of the implications to that. If all of our transportation didn't actually have a cost involved, every single product that you buy is a lot cheaper because every product needs transportation to get there. And that's also a lot of the ways that we produce our products is, you know, we can make it here in my country but we're going to manufacture it in China or some other country that needs huge amounts of transportation to get back into my country where I could have done it here myself. I did um, a national campaign went very very successful here in Canada more than 20 years ago about uh, free trade and what that does is take away your ability to work and earn a living so that we can get cheaper products done in third world countries you know these countries that we intentionally for generations have suppressed so that when we want our product made cheaper they'll be they'll be willing to work for next to nothing and that's exactly what's being done right now is they are holding off uh, the flow of money right now so that you'll buy whatever scam comes up and it's just going to be another scam there is one video that I've seen of somebody debunking this little idea. I'll put a link below. You can have a look at it. Um, this is not a plan where, you know, you get rich. This is a plan. It's another bailout that's going to the banksters and CEOs and um, thinking that all you have to do is give these, you know, psychopathic CEOs more money and somehow they'll create jobs for you to work at <laughs> and it's like they're all mentally ill and all they're going to do is give them all themselves bonuses because that's all they know how to do I mean government themselves all they're concerned with is giving themselves a raise not concerned with the country it's no give us a raise because we're working so hard doing something for the country and it's like you're doing nothing for the country and you're giving yourself a raise for it and that's what the CEOs will do with all of this money is give themselves a nice big raise with a bonus and not create any jobs. You know, it's, it, it, the, the whole way I've looked at it is they ain't about to give people at the bottom any money. What they want to do, <laughs> the thinking is, is that they'll give money at the top, create jobs so that now you can go to work, be that slave for them. And they'll make sure that you're at minimum wage, that you get next to nothing, you know, but you'll be back to work because the, the concept is, is you need to do something. <laughs> and if that something is, yeah, go to work and be my little slave and I'll give you next to nothing so that every day you're going to have a need to go back to work. But let's face it, if we all got a million dollars each, would we go into work for them? No. The smart ones will create jobs. <laughs> we'll create our own ways of working, and <laughs> we'll, you know, but they won't think that way.
because the only way that they'll hand out this money, if it was even true, is just to the banksters and CEOs, which will just give them another bonus and it'll take another year or two to find out it's not funneling down to you because these people are psychopathic mentally ill and the only concern is for themselves. So, And that's what your leaders are. They have zero concern for you. Otherwise, if they did, this wouldn't be happening. Cure their mental illness. But in the meantime, don't buy into this. It's just another way for you to invest in what they already own because the more you invest the more you're putting your money into them and not into yourself and let's face it you can't even afford anything to make a difference so you're just going to lose your money in the process of trying to, to, to think you're safe in the future but you won't and that's what gold and silver is all about it's still a freaking dollar a, a paper that is backed by gold, but you got to trust these bankers actually have that gold that's banked up. And do they not lie to you all the time? Do they not cook the books to make it appear like it? They'll come up with another scam. This was supposed to be prevented the last depression that the stock market would never crash again. <laughs> so they did workarounds so that you could get away with that. So now whatever plan they got now, trust these psychopaths will find a way. I mean, if you listen to some of these um, stockbrokers, Wall Street people, they'll say rules are made to be broken. That's their job is to figure out a way of how to how to get away with it. That's the nature of a psychopath. Is <laughs> you trust them to be doing the right thing while they're busy looking at how can I use this to my advantage and have a workaround so that I profit and the rest of the world suffers. Take a look at this link. Don't buy into the crap. And this this is what, uh, from what I heard too recently, Colleen Thomas is like the mother of the universe that's going to save everybody. And she's, you know, mental telepathy is getting all of these messages. While she's in total fear, that's one good sign that she's getting, never going to access good information is because she's in fear. She also has this really, really big need to save everybody. And yet, the only way that I listen to somebody is that if they're busy working at saving themselves. That's what I'm doing is I'm working at saving myself. This is more my diary. These are my thoughts. These are my opinions. I don't care whether anybody watches. I don't care about high view videos or high volume. It's just I'm working on myself and trying to be the example that I want to be. And um, I tend to listen to other people that, hey, what's working for you? Let me see if it works for you. And, and you know, are you, do I want my life to be similar to you? Then I kind of mirror them. But uh, Colleen is definitely not working on herself, not healing herself. Um, she's definitely looking for something out there to save you, aliens. And uh, all of these people that she's talking to in her head, you know, from this telepathy. She always finds out that she's wrong. Every single prediction that she's made always turns out to be wrong. And she is saying that there's going to be this big settlement. <laughs> this is what she's talking about. And she's going to find out she's wrong about that one as well. <laughs> it's one of those too good to be true. There's no way these, these guys at the top are ever going to be smart enough because they don't even think that they have a problem. They think you have the problem. And they're going to push your their ideas on you. And it's like they got to fix their own problem. And when they fix their problem, then I'll imitate them. <laughs> but as long as they don't even know what the hell they're doing in their own life, and their life doesn't appear to be working the way I would like it to be working, I ain't going to imitate them and I ain't going to take their advice either. Just some thought. Peace out.